In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Yeah, again, I would like to welcome those who are watching this Mass uh, through YouTube. Um, I know you, I, I've, I've been enjoying uh, reading your comments there on the live chat. And um, yeah, just, just amazed by the virtual community that were formed here. And the people from all over. Uh, the world, you know, different countries. It's just amazing how God could bring all of us together through the Eucharist. Okay? And uh, so the Eucharist really unites all of us because we're one body, you know, one body in Christ. And I also would like to welcome today uh, Lucy, uh, who's doing, uh, going to be doing the lecturing and, the, and, and, and the leading the music, and also uh, Tito Frias, uh, a veteran of this uh, uh, at St. Mary's, uh, doing the sacristan work and also the cameraman. So welcome, Lucy and uh, Tito Frias. So brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty and merciful God, that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Paul and Silas were in Philippi, the crowd joined in attacking them, and the magistrates had them stripped of their clothing and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After they had given Paul and Silas a severe flogging, they threw them into prison and ordered the jailer to keep them securely. Following these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and fastened their feet in the stocks. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was an earthquake so violent that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were unfastened. While the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, since he supposed that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted in a loud voice, Do not harm yourself, for we are all here. The jailer called for lights, and rushing in, he fell down, trembling before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them outside and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They answered, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your whole household. Paul and Silas spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. And at the same hour of the night, he took them and washed their wounds. And he and his entire family were baptized without delay. He brought them up into the house and set food before them. And he and his entire household rejoiced that he had become a believer in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Your right hand has saved me, O Lord. Your right hand has saved me, O Lord. I give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods I sing your praise. I bow down toward your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your steadfast love and faithfulness. Your right hand has saved me, O Lord, for you have exalted your name and your word above everything. On the day I called, you answered me. You increased my strength of soul. Your right hand has saved me, O Lord. Your right hand delivers me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Your right hand has saved me, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord says, I will send you the Spirit of truth, who will lead you to the whole truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father, he said to the disciples, Now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you ask me, Where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will prove the world wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment. About sin, because they do not believe in me. About righteousness, because I am going to the Father, and you will see me no longer. About judgment, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord Some people think that when you follow uh, Jesus as his disciples, it's going to be like a bed of roses. Uh, You know, and, uh, you know, it's going to be like a a smooth life, you know, no, 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 no suffering, no pain, uh, no crosses, uh, but we know that's not the truth, right? And uh, in our verse reading today, we see here how Paul, Paul, um, Paul and Silas, they were serving the Lord. You know, they, they, they were proclaiming the gospel to people, and yet, what happened to them? In our first reading today, you saw they were attacked. <laughs> they were stripped of their clothing. They were beaten with rods, and they were put into prison. Okay. Could you just imagine yourself in the shoes of Paul and Silas? I'm sure the, the, the number one question that you would ask yourself is this. Why do bad things happen to good people? I'm sure a lot of people could relate with that question, right? When you're, when you're following the Lord and you're going through difficulties in life, you know, the crosses, why do bad things happen to good people? And, and, but we see here 
uh, how Paul and Silas, they were in prison, what they did was that they were praying and singing hymns to God. I, I, for me, I, I couldn't imagine myself doing that. Like, uh, for me, I, I would easily fall into a, a pity party. You know, poor me, you know, uh, they beat me up, they attack me, you know, and uh, uh, just, just falling into self-pity. And maybe, uh, maybe um, being resentful to God. Lord, I've served you all this time, and yet this is what, what is happening in my life. You know, that's why St. Teresa of Avila once said that, if this is how you treat your good friends, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. <laughs> because of the suffering, right? Or, or that, 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 that we experience. And, but, but you see here how Paul and Silas, they were worshiping the Lord, despite the difficulty that they were going through. And it's a sign of their great faith in God. It's a sign that whatever they're going through, how, how big, how, however their problem is so big, their God is bigger than their problems. It's a sign of faith. It's a sign of trust in God. And we see here how the Lord honored the faith of Paul and Silas. You see here in our first reading today, it says here, when they were in prison, the doors were opened and everyone's chain were unfastened. You see here the miracle that happened there? Yeah, for, for, for me, I went through the, the, the darkest moment of my priesthood the past two years. I think I've shared this uh, in some of my talks and my homilies. Uh, uh, I suffered from ans- a severe anxiety and depression and insomnia. Uh, in fact, I, I was also having like some uh, suicidal thoughts. And I remember one of my brother priests, you know, I, I would confide to him my struggles and he, and he told me, Go before the Lord and praise Him. And he's like, what? Like, that's the last thing I would like to do. Right? And, and there's, there's, there's a part of me that doesn't want to do that. I was just so tired, so exhausted. You know, I wasn't sleeping well. There's a part of me that doesn't want to do that. But I, I, I started, like, praising the Lord, even though I didn't feel like it. Worshipping the Lord. And things started to change. I started to experience healing. You know, until uh, last January, I was completely healed from anxiety, depression, no suicidal thoughts, sleeping well like a baby. But it took a while. It was a gradual healing. And and I think the Lord was testing my faith. Are you going to trust me? So I, 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 I did that, you know, uh, praising the Lord despite the, the, the struggles that I was like going through. And I saw a miracle happen. I saw a miracle happen in my life. Okay? Doors were opened. Chains were unfastened. What are you going through in life right now? The difficulties, especially with this COVID-19 lockdown that we're experiencing. Whatever you're going through, Never cease from praising and worshiping our God. It's a sign of your faith in Him. And when you do that, you will see how God performs miracles in your life. Before ascending into heaven, Jesus promised us another helper like himself to be with us. That our pastors may totally dedicate their lives to the preaching of the gospel by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, That parents and teachers may become living examples of faith to those under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, That we may give our best to, to do what is right And may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, That we may show compassion to the elderly, the lonely, and the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, That the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 
for the special intentions of this Mass, for the repose of the soul of Rolando Geronimo, offered by Carl and Dolores Pavjovic. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, giver of all gifts, grant us your spirit in abundance that we may live holy lives and work for the coming of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice and your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread to all the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Terence and Marcel, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. So again, thank you again, Lucy and uh, Tito. So there's uh, so Tito and Lucy will be another pair who will come and help out in uh, in the in our daily masses. So uh, truly grateful to you and uh, also to Frank and Sylvie who's been helping out, and also Cesar and uh, Catherine who who used to help uh, out in the daily masses uh, in the past. So truly grateful for your services. The Lord be with you. May mighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And with our Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the, all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.